everyone, it's Dominique from Blogging My Undies, and today's video is going to be pretty quick. It's the boys' birthday party, so I'm in the process of cutting veggies and fruits and everything. The cupcakes are done from yesterday, and I'm working on nacho dips. So, what you need is a uh, cream cheese at room temperature, and then you also need an oven safe uh, box or dish or pan. Um, this actually didn't matter for me because there's no oven where I'm going, so I won't be reheating these. But uh, for convenience sake and being able to throw them away, I just got the foil disposable boxes. So put out the cream cheese as a bottom layer, fill up the bottom uh, of your pan, and then in a frying pan or a wok, you want to scramble brown uh, ground beef or perhaps soy once it's soaked and ready. Uh, this is a vegetarian version. So brown your ground beef, pork, whatever you prefer. And then uh, you can add your spices once you've drained the fat off. And then I added drained and rinsed black and kidney beans. Black beans and kidney beans. And same for the vegetarian one. The only difference is the soy and the corn that I added. And I also added um, half a chopped onion to each. And then the next step, once it's all cooked and you put this on top of the cream cheese, I just buy medium salsa, pour it on there, and spread it out nicely with a spoon. Just one moment. You may need more salsa. I know I'm going to need more salsa. So just spread it as best as you can so it's nice and even. And then I'm going to top it with shredded cheese. And I'm going to serve at room temperature. However, if you want to take it up a notch, you could take these to your party that you're going to, or potluck, and uh, you can toss it in the oven, the dip, once it's ready. Toss it in the oven and uh, keep it in the oven just to melt the cheese. And then you're good to go and just serve with nacho chips. So I'm using a pizza topping, pizza mix, shredded cheese. But you can use what you like. Some prefer mozzarella or cheddar or whatever you like. And this is kind of my signature dish for parties because nacho dips aren't very common in Finland. So they're usually quite well received and they feed quite a bit of people and there's almost always no leftovers so that's also handy and another reason why I'm bringing these foil boxes I'm hoping they'll be nice and empty after the party sorry for the mess in my kitchen been busy all day yeah, and then if you wanted, you could top it with um, some chopped green onions or chives would be lovely as well. And you can add more vegetables than I did, like some chopped bell peppers would be lovely in your meat or non-meat mixture. So yeah, there you go. And to separate the two, um, these foil boxes come with lids, so I'll just be scribbling what is vegetarian and what is not. Anyway, thank you so much for watching, and have a wonderful day. Bye!